I have added a few fields on the form. This is a reference field which is referencing to this user table. Type is choice for this field. These are choice values. I have selected default value as legal. Type is date and time. Also, I have added the section on the form. By clicking on this plus icon, you can add section. And from here, you can set the layout of the section. It's a one column layout. It's a two column layout. Also, I have created a section on the form. In this section, I have added these fields. Also, I have created one view named as user. For this view, I have removed this section. If you want to remove this section for default view as well as, then click on this cross icon and save your form layout. If there is no view name is displaying here, it means this form is open in default view. Here you can see two sections. If you want these two sections should display in tab format, then click on this gear icon. Enable this copy. Reload form. Now these sections are displaying in tab form. Switch to user view. Here you will only see one section. Now I'll show you how to customize an inherited columns choice list. The state field is inherited from task table and these are the choices for the state field. To customize this field choices, right click on this field, click on configure choices. Just select the choice which you want to display and from here you will add a new choice. And from here you can select on which table you want to add this choice. I'll select needed table from here and click on add button. And click on save button. This is the one way you can add or customize choices the rest of other choices we will add from studio open studio open needed form layout it will open form designer click on this gear icon Add choices here. If you see, if you can see that one choice is coming in blue color, it means it's embedded value. This is happening because before configuring. The choices for state field 
for this needed ticket number the state was open so when i configured it i removed this open from selected and that's why this values displaying in a blue color here now select requested now that invalid value is no more click on show choice list it will show choice list for state field on all the tables all the choices stored in sys underscore choice table now i'll show you how to save work in github repository click on source control click on commit changes These are all the changes we have made. And write comment message and click on comment changes button. Open GitHub account. Now you will see that the branch is created in GitHub repository. Here you can see all the updates are saved in GitHub repository. Here you can see the message. 